On this episode, we're going to be doing a little DIY on my 911. On episode 32, I had my kids open up my Christmas presents and two of them were for my Porsche. The first one is the cane and drop-in air filter. And the second one is the silicone intake elbow kit, which has the resonator delete. Although there are some power advantages to this, I'm also going to get a little bit more of a deeper sound note, especially when I'm on load. To complete this project, here are the materials and the tools that I'm going to need. Here's my drop-in air filter from k and the silicone elbow, and it comes with two T-bolt clamps, as well as the resonator plug. For the intake, I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver, as well as a Phillips screwdriver. And then for the T-bolt clamps, I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket. What I'm going to do next is take my car out for a little bit and warm it up. So that way I can compare how it sounds like and how it feels. So I got the car warmed up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take it around 3,000 to maybe 6,000 RPM. When I install the new parts, then we'll give it another run and see if there's a sound difference. So we're going to go ahead and remove the intake elbow as well as the intake and replace the filter and install the new intake elbow and plug the resonator. Now that the intake elbow is off, I'm going to remove the mass sensor and the, the oil fill tube and then pull out the intake. Here you can see the difference between the original elbow and the upgraded one. This one has some corrugation inside, so it's going to kind of disrupt some airflow. Whereas with the silicone, it's very smooth. So that's where the increase in performance is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and recycle the worm clamp here so I can use it for the resonator plug and secure it that way. Here's the intake I brought into the garage so that I can work on it. Underneath it is the screws to access the filter. So we have these torque screws right here. There's a number of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Torx tool here to remove them. Now that I got all the screws loosened, I could flip this over. And now I have access to the air filter here. So here's the difference between the two filters. The one down here is the original one, and the one above is the one from K&N. So the K&N is a mesh style, which is oiled, so it's gonna allow for more airflow and better filtration. So I'm gonna get cleaner air. This is how it looks like inside the intake. Over here is gonna be the main tube where it comes through, the, where all the air comes through. And then this box is the resonator, the Hemholtz resonator, which is going to affect the sound. So Having it plugged is going to give it a more deeper, throatier sound. What I'm going to do now is replace the air filter with the k &N one, and it's basically a drop-in. So everything pretty much lines up and fits perfectly. Before I put on the new intake elbow, I'm going to put on the resonator plug. I recycled the worm clamp from the original intake from the intake from the original intake elbow so I can secure it down. 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay it secure like this and use my flathead screwdriver to tighten the worm clamp. The reason why I wanted to do this first is so I can hide the worm clamp screw back here. That way you can't see it when you're looking down at the intake. So here's the new intake elbow. I have the T-bolt clamps pre-secured. That way it's aligned up the way I want it to look like when everything is tightened down. What I found easier is to actually disconnect the oil fill tube first. So everything is installed now. Just make sure that if you're gonna do this modification, you wanna make sure that you align each of the sides, whether it's on the throttle body side or the intake side. That way there's no leaks when you're driving the car. All right, the car's back on the road. I'm gonna go ahead and test it between three and 6,000 RPM. See if you notice any difference in the sound as well as the power. feel the throttle to be a little bit more responsive as far as the sound it's definitely a lot more open around 3500 and up and I'm also feeling a little bit more difference with this upgrade the throttle response is a lot better I feel the airflow it's it's not struggling for air and it's setting me back on my seat more noticeably than when I had everything stock so overall I think this mod was a good upgrade and it took me about I would say maybe an hour and a half to put everything together because I was filming and trying to set everything up the lighting and all that so without any of that, I would say probably be another 30 to 45 minute job. Um, so if you want to do this to your 997, I definitely would recommend this. I didn't pay that much. I want to say for the filter and the hose, I paid a total of maybe 150. So definitely a good upgrade. So what I'm going to do next is see how loud it sounds like from outside. My car's still on, so let me put my let me put my camera on a tripod and let's test out the sound. On the last episode, I talked about providing an update on the car that I was closing a deal with. And I actually have it parked behind this garage door. It's been raining for the last few days, so it's, it's wet right now. So let's go ahead and do a little teaser. On the next episode, I'll talk a little bit more about the cars that I checked out and why I chose this one. Thanks for joining and we'll see you on the next one.